Welcome to Integration Made Easy, a video series brought to you by Miracle's Integration Center of Excellence team. Welcome all. This is Harish Chandrawada from Miracle Software Systems, working as a Data Power and API Connect Admin Com Developer. In this video, I will show you a quick demo on how Data Power is installed and administrated on cloud, especially on AWS using containers. Here is the agenda for the video on how IBM Data, IBM Data Power Gateway is deployed on EC2 instance what is AWS, what is Docker, and how it is emerging in today's technological world, what is IBM Data Power Gateway, differences between VM versus containers, container architecture, installation on cloud, and Data Power Gateway behavior in Docker. Data Power can be deployed and installed in AWS cloud. In this, the administration part is maintained over cloud, and EC2 is a web service interface that allows us to maintain and configure capacity with minimal friction. In this demo, we'll see how it is done. AWS is a subsidiary of Amazon.com. It is started in 2006 when no other company wanted to take risk at cloud computing. Now, more than 70% of the market is of AWS. Why we use AWS? The first question that comes into our mind. Consider an example that you're using an application server installed locally. But in this case, you should maintain the server upgrades certificate updates, certificate renewals, and the traffic load balancing, and whatever, all the things we need to look over. But what in case the server meltdown or the traffic is heavily heated, and here comes AWS with an idea. Why don't you use my servers and pay how long will you use? In this case, I'll provide you and all the maintenance help for the servers you use. This is why AWS is leading in today's market. Docker is an open source technology to build, run, and ship distributed applications. It is developed on top of Linux and can be installed anywhere. It provides efficient image management. Applications and dependencies are packaged in Linux to Linux containers. Though it is dependent of, uh, operate, independent of operating system, it is not preferred to production environment. IBM Data Power Gateway helps organization meet the security and integration needs of digital business. It provides security, control, integration, and optimized access to a full range of mobile, web, APIs, SOA, B2B, and cloud workloads. It is a middleware tool provided by IBM. In this video, how AWS and IBM will communicate each other will show that. VM versus containers. In a VM environment, let's say we are using an application that uses microservices to communicate with the application and to meet the goal. In this case, let's say each microservice needs a VM that needs to install on a separate guest OS. This is a complex process and a tedious job. Say, if it is a container, we have Docker installed in a host OS, and now the Docker will look over the VMs you need to install or a microservice as a container where all the packages, libraries, and binaries combined as a unit. Container architecture. Let's talk about the same example discussed above. For that, you need to create a Docker file, which is the manifest that describes the base image. Now the image can be pulled or pushed to the Docker Hub repository where one can use it. By running an image, we can run, can use container. And it, a container is a replica of image. Means with one image, we can run multiple containers. And now data power behavior in Docker. Data power as a server runs on a particular host. But when it is on Docker, data power has the host capabilities where Docker runs. You cannot configure Ethernet interfaces, you cannot configure VLAN and NDP service. You cannot set date and time. Because ho doc Docker uses host, host uh, time and time zone settings. You cannot run specific write functions. In uh, Mainly this write function is used for B2B workloads. And now we'll show you how Data Power is installed in AWS Cloud. In order to have a Data Power Gateway on AWS Cloud, you need to have an AWS account. After, after logging into your AWS account, click on Launch Instance. You can select type of Linux machines. Mainly Data Power Gateway is developed on top of Linux. So here I'm choosing an EC2 instance. Here I'm going with FreeTag and here Launch. And the, the key pair which the key pair is used to connect to the AWS cloud using our terminals, means Linux terminals. Here we'll show how it is done 
I'm going with test. We can download it here. Now it's done. After clicking launch instances, you will get a running instance like this. Here you can connect to the instance by using Linux terminals or by using Putty. I am using here Linux terminal, so I am going with with my. So you are now logging to the EC2 instance. Login as root. And now you need to install Docker because AWS in AWS we are using data power as a container. So to install Docker, first you need to update the repository. After updating, go with the command mInstall hyphen by Docker to install Docker in EC2 instance. Now you can check Docker is installed or not with the command Docker version. You can see only client is running, but server is not running. We need to start the service with. Now you can see both client and server is running on EC2 instance. Now to install IBM Data Power Gateway in EC2 instance, we have Docker Hub where all the images will contain. And to go here, IBM Data Power, just copy it. Both here in this PW is a present working directory and config and local in. IBM Data Power Gateway, all the configurations will save in the config folder and all the local files and modifications will save in local folder. And accept we need to accept, accept the license and interactive equal to true, it, it means that it can directly take you to terminal to login. And worker threats it's like CPUs, the number of CPUs here is using 4. And I am going to install Data Power Gateway on 9090 port. So, to allow ports in EC2 instance, go to launch wizard, inbound, and edit here, and choose all traffic. Now you can use 9090 port or any other port in cloud. We are successfully logged into IBM Data Power Gateway. Username and password is admin admin by default and to, to get into the appliance we need to configure the terminal. So we need to type configure terminal. So we are in the configuration mode and and, and start the web management to access web UI of data power. So we have started data power gateway on cloud. Here you can use this public IP which we have here and like I said 9090 is the port number. Give the credentials as admin and admin. Now we are logged into the appliance. Here I am going to create a new application domain. Here we can see the demo domain is up and running. If you have any errors in saving the configurations, go to the EC2 instance and give full permissions to the folders config and local. In that case, you don't get any errors. And like I said, on top of Docker, IBM Data Power Gateway behaves with the host capabilities. We cannot configure Ethernet interfaces. We cannot have Ethernet interfaces on data power running on Docker. And we cannot configure NDP services. And by default, doc IBM categorized 172.17 and 172.18 network addresses for Docker and Kubernetes. So in order to make hits for data power, you need to use that particular IP, like 172.17. and the particular host address.
you can check the docker host ip in handler whenever you need to you need to request a data power service you need to give a host address followed by port of that service here you can check the ip address of the data power running on docker thank you thank you for watching our video on integration made easy a video series brought to you by Merkel's Integration Center of Excellence team. For more information about this playlist and for more videos, please visit www.merkelsoft.com/ime.